Now, families are taking today to remember those who didn't walk away from that elementary school. Leslie Adami traveled to West Texas to learn more about a little girl named Mati and tells us how her legacy lives on. It's possible that many 10 year olds may know what they want to be when they grow up, but just how many have an entire plan in place as to how they'll make it happen? Maite Rodriguez knew. She had a plan. She wanted to attend Texas A&M Corpus Christi to study and become a marine biologist. And now through her scholarship and her memory, her story and eagerness for education live on and will help students from her hometown who want to attend school in Corpus Christi. We spoke with Maite's mother and got to meet the first ever recipient of the Maite Juliana Rodriguez Endowed Scholarship. As you pull into town, handmade signs across painted windows read, Uvalde Strong, a powerful reminder for residents and visitors alike. And here at the memorial, there's peace, tranquility, but there's also heartache, stories that remain to be told. She loved to stay home in her jammies and, you know, loved movie nights. The day that we met Ana Coronado, the proud mother of Maite Rodriguez, was a bright and sunny day. And what made it brighter, the vibrant colors that make up the 21 Uvalde murals. This is Maite's. The artist was Ana Hernandez and she nailed it to the T. She completely saw my vision. Um, I told her I wanted every single inch of it to be Maite, who Maite was, what she liked, what she wanted to be capturing everything from her favorite Whataburger order, a number 13. Do not forget the sliced jalapenos is what she would tell me. To her books and clothes. It's hard to see, but this is her favorite sweater. She wore it almost every day. And of course, her green Converse. She actually did that right after I had gotten them. So New shoes. Yeah, they were new shoes and I saw she Wrote the, drew, drew the heart on there. What was and your said, reaction to I that? Was, I was like, Maite, I said, I just got those for you. And her answer was, Mom, it just looks so pretty. In fact, Maite's mural is because nearly heart all hearts. And it's got a little heart on the head as well. So there's little hearts everywhere. And you'll notice the marine life. Maite dreamed of becoming a marine biologist, a love that began in kindergarten. We looked up, you know, the classes, I showed her, and, you know, I, I thought she was going to get intimidated, but, you she know, was there was nothing, you know. Uh, actually, for career day in third grade, she was a marine biologist. And her dream school? Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And I know she would have loved it. It was exactly what we, were, what we would talk about. And though her daughter can no longer attend, it's Anna's hope that other students who can will continue Maite's legacy. I knew there would have been something. That was what she wanted. And since she herself can't accept a scholarship or even apply for a scholarship, through this scholarship, she's still in a way going to school. I try to think of it that way, helping students. Students like Bella Munoz. She's touched the hearts of so many people, including mine. Bella is focused. She just wrapped up her freshman year at TAM UCC. Isabella L. Munoz. She graduated from Uvalde High School last summer and is the first recipient of Maite's scholarship. It empowered me, you know, first semester was super tough for me. I was leaving home. I had no idea what I was doing. You know, I didn't have any friends. And so to think like, okay, I got this scholarship in honor of her, like, in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, I'm, I didn't know her personally, but I am doing this for her because this is something that she wanted to achieve and she wanted to do. And unfortunately, she didn't get to. Bella feels the responsibility not only to do well, but to celebrate Maite's story. And I'm hoping that's something that, you know, I'm able to share with her and that's going to be a source of comfort for her. As Anna shared Maite's mural with us, a special visitor arrived. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? It's good. So Bella and Anna meeting for the very first time. I'm so glad to put a face to the name. I get you, I get you. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Through her, like, she's able to 
to help students like you because, you know, all the way, I think it, it hurts me to not be able to get that opportunity. I think that when I, like she's working through me and she's helping, I think like students like you that deserve it. And you have obviously worked hard to get to where you are. Bella wants to one day teach. She's looking at teaching little ones, my this age, with a focus on STEM. And just maybe she'll have a student with an early passion for marine science. Her legacy continues on through you, and I'm so happy that she can be a part of helping you out, even if it's a little bit, Bella. She's helping you, and I'm so glad. And I know you're gonna do great things in whatever it is that you choose to do. And as Leslie mentioned, Bella originally wanted to major in marine biology, but last summer she got to help mentor young children there in Uvalde and loved it. And so, as Leslie said, she has now changed her major to education.